Hello friends, today I am going to tell you about the use of Zoom Cloud Meeting application. This application is very useful to conduct online meetings. Nowadays, the work from home is going on because of the lockdown. And if you want to conduct some online meeting, this application is very useful. The same application is available on Play Store on Android. The same application is also available for the Windows. As a teacher, it's very useful app. You can conduct online classes for maximum 100 students. And the, <clears throat> this app is totally free. If you want to get some uh, more meetings on it, so you need to pay for it. But otherwise, you can conduct n number of meetings on this app freely. So first download this application for Windows, then sign up with any valid email ID. Once sign up, then you can start using the app. Because I have already signed up, so I am going to sign in to this app. You need to have the internet connection for it. Of course, the connectivity should be good because it is a video streaming. So ensure that you are working on Wi-Fi or very good connectivity plan. Now I am signing with the email ID and password of Zoom account. Once you sign in, you will see this home page of Zoom Cloud Meeting app. Now there are four main icons. New meeting, join and start and the share screen. These all three icons useful for the meeting which are going online at present. If you want to join, if you want to organize the new meeting instantly, immediately, then click on this icon. If you want to join some meeting that is ongoing and you want to join as a participant, then click on join. If you want to share your screen in ongoing meeting, then you can click on share. So today I am going to show you how to plan a meeting, how to schedule a meeting. So as a teacher, we can say, how can we organize your class? How can you plan your class? Click on schedule. It's not complicated. It's very simple. Uh, as a teacher, when you want to organize some uh, online session, so it, it should be organized one or two, two days before so everyone will be available on that day and on, on that time so this is not complicated one just type the topic over here what you want to teach or simply you can type the your subject then go to start here put the date time and duration so these three things are important topic date and time so when you want to organize your online class if you want to organize the same class for every day then you can click on recurring meeting otherwise we just keep simple that don't click on recurring meeting once it is done then click on schedule now scheduling means it's confirming now you can see how connectivity is important because this app needs a good connectivity because it's a live video streaming so you need to have better broadband plan a good Wi-Fi speed see you can see over there the meeting is appeared over here. Now once the meeting is planned, then you need to invite, you need to share it with the students, with your class. So you can share this invitation, clicking simply copy invitation and you can see the other option you can edit this schedule or you can delete this schedule so once you copy the invitation now this copied link can be pasted